So people have all this static in their head, information, TikTok, music, bullshit, uh, fluoride, uh, genetically modified foods, bad frequencies, 5G, and their mind is cluttered with so much noise, right, that they cannot listen. They cannot listen to truth. They cannot identify glitches in the matrix and in the system. So they see no opportunity, but that doesn't mean that the opportunity is not there. It means that they have not developed the spiritual or the business eyes to capture the opportunity because it requires special eyes to see opportunity. That requires positivity, that requires hope, that requires small wins that give you the confidence to actually go get a bigger win. Like if you're, if you're shredding the slopes, you don't start at a double black diamond. You start in the blues and you're like, I'm gonna gain confidence. So what are the small things in your life that you can gain confidence in that'll then propel you to the next level? The problem is you don't trust yourself because you say you're gonna do something and you don't do it. So how are you gonna trust yourself to actually do something else? You're not. So in your subconscious mind, you've already lost. So if you see no opportunity, there will be no opportunity. Him that sees opportunity, her that sees opportunity, they will be the ones that capture it. And Steve Jobs said it best. You know, he says, people don't know what they want unless you give it to them. So if you want to build a product in the marketplace, identify, use your fucking head, think, reason, elevate, and understand what the market needs, the value that you can provide. And if you don't have the skills to provide that value, develop the skills. Be unmatched in that skill set, and you will carve a space for yourself in the marketplace. You can make $10,000 a month, brother. Like, there's nothing holding you back except this. And if anybody tells me that you cannot make either physically, digitally $10,000 a month, it's a lie. You don't need a college education. You don't need a university education. You don't need a high school education in order to make money. Because what is money? Money is just energy. Energy transfers. What transfers? Human energy. Human resources. The name of the department exists for a reason. They call it a human capital for a reason. Why? Because you are a resource. The money represents the expendable energy of people. Why? So your job is to use that money to build things and you pay people for their energy. That's what you're doing. You're not paying them for their time. You're paying them for their energy output. So when people are like, oh, what skill sets, what resources do I have? You have two things in life. The first thing is energy. The second thing that you have is time. That's the only two things that you truly have, energy and time. So the question is, what are you doing with your energy? Where are you inputting your energy? And what are you doing with that time? What you do with those things will dictate the outcome of your life. And you know what, bro? You don't need money. You need energy and time. That's it. And you know what, bro? And we've talked about this because uh, the title of, of the last podcast was Escape the Matrix and Get Rich. The, the money matrix is infinite as long For as you sure. let it go on. I know this because <laughs> from my personal life. Yeah. And here's the thing. I promise you, I know this to be true. There are people that are watching this video that will make a million dollars this year. 100%. And that means if you're watching this video, you have to figure out which one of those two buckets you And there into. are people right now watching this video that have made a million dollars that once in their life didn't believe that a million dollars was possible till they made it. Like you and I. And then, but, but, but this is what I'm saying. But once you make that, bro, 100%. the money matrix doesn't end. It it's doesn't. an infinite, it's infinite as long as you let it last. It's infinite because it's based on numbers. Money is just a metric, right? It's just a metric, it's just numbers on a screen. How many numbers are there? Infinite. So if your validation, your success, your identity is based on numbers, then it's never ending. There's always another number to chase. So yeah, bro, people gotta start fucking waking up. And yes, first of all, yes. <laughs> and second of all, and this is why, I'll tell you guys, this is why I like hanging out with Luke. He's a very unique individual um, in the way that he manages time, right? I like, I like spending time with people that change my perspective on the world and, and make me better, right? Or help me optimize my life. And there's two types of people I've met that are in the sort of net worth bracket of Luke. There are people who live the exact same menial task lifestyle they mm. lived before they made their first million because they are stuck in their heads thinking that, oh, this is what got me from zero to five. So this was going to get me from five to 100. Um, and then there's individuals who use that, who see that money as energy and yeah. use that energy to completely, you know, radically change their life.